G'day guys, how's it going? It's Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number 22 of the Fulham Road to Glory Career Mode series in FIFA 20. As you can see, looking at the calendar right now, we have a big episode ahead of us. We're in December, almost in the January transfer window, but matches against Leicester, Chelsea, and Manchester United, maybe even a game against Crystal Palace. We've got a massive episode ahead of us. And I mean, looking at the table, it is not a good time to come against these big sides because we are in the thick of the relegation battle, as you would know. Currently out of the relegation zone, but who knows where we're going to be at the end of the episode. But we're going to dive into it all head first here, traveling away to the King Power Stadium as we take on Leicester. All right, so it's a rainy night here in Leicester. Never an easy opponent. They're not doing that well in the league this season in this save, but we know how good they are. So here is a look at Brendan Rodgers' side. Danny Ward is the man in between the sticks. Where's Morgan still getting a start? But so is Christian Fuchs. Uh, Tielemans, Mendy, Andy King in the midfield. Iosi Perez, Olivier Giroud, and Harvey Barnes. That is a weird look inside. But now... For a look at our starting lineup. So, of course, Jack Butlin, the man in between the sticks. Alfie Mawson back into the starting 11. Decided to go with Holgate at right back again. Josh Onoma getting a start as well. And Mitro, we need him to fire for us. We need some goals desperately. We're on the attack early here. Big opportunity for Onoma as he goes out to Larson. Larson to Richarlison. Good touch. Not a good shooting angle, though. Back post. We have the shot anyways. It's put back in the middle. What are they doing there, Leicester? Oh, my God. Justin. Someone I was looking at signing, to be fair. Mendy going through here. We've got to stop the shooting angle. Harvey Barnes is a good player. He goes through to Olivier Giroud. We know how clinical the Frenchman is. And he shows that clinicality once again. Olivier Giroud putting Leicester in front there. Just like that. Would be a big blow for us to go two behind here in the first, second half. I've just brought Candy too far up, but it's Giroud. We definitely can't let him shoot. He goes to Perez. How have we let them go through? Where is our defense? That's a ridiculously strong strike there from Yuri Tielemans. But how are we letting them run into those positions? Our defense always out of bloody in the wrong position. What is Kakache doing? He's marking Perez. So it's Onoma that's lost his man. What a finish, though. It's not going to plan so far, lads. Leicester in the area again. I've kind of lost my head, I feel like. Half an hour to go, so there's still time for us, but we need to stop here. Mendy, I'm just sprinting too much with players. Mendy through to Tielemans. If he scored that, I think I would have turned the console off. It's been all Leicester in this second half, lads. We're running out of time. that We just can't get possession off them. Islam Slimani... Going through, has the shot again. Getting me very, very worried there. How close did that one get? He just goes through. That was scary areas. So there we go, lads. Another poor performance. I thought after the start we had to the match that we'd be all right. But Leicester just, they're just too good for us. Most Premier League sides, it feel like, are too good for us this year. So we're going to have to pick our act up. Get our crap together. It is a West London derby as Chelsea travel to the biggest club in West London. They're traveling to the Craven Cottage. I mean, I always seem to hold out hope when it gets to these games against the bigger sides. Ever since we had that win against Liverpool, I've just kind of been like, all right, we can take down anybody on our day, but we need luck. But it's a beautiful afternoon here in West London at the cottage right on the river. So let's see how we go. Taking a look at our starting lineup here, strongly considering making some big changes to formation. I've seen the comments you guys have been leaving I'm going to see what we do with the January window coming up and then go from there. But for the moment, it's our strongest or one of our strongest possible sides. Fabregas hopefully going to score. And now for a look at the Chelsea side. Kepa Arif Balaga in between the sticks. They've brought in Savage and Mike Miazga. That's a name I haven't heard in a while, the American defender. Musonda, Mount and Kennedy. And up front, they have Naki Williams. Okay, so no Tammy Abraham in that squad. Oh, I can't let them get like that. Musonda puts the ball in there. Elvedi tries to hold up Anaki Williams. He's somehow gotten free. Head that one away, Steven Sessignon. Sessignon's too much of a liability for those back post crosses. He's just too short in comparison. We're lucky Kennedy couldn't finish, though. Come on, a few options opening up. Here we go over the top to Sessignon. 
Looking for some options in the middle. Going to go there to Metro. Metro, nice ball to Maya. Maya, get to the back. Oh, that was wishful thinking. I wanted last thing to run onto that one and tap it in, but too far gone. Chelsea again on the attack here just before half time. Well, Sonda going to Williams. Can't let Naki Williams shoot. We'll allow him to shoot if it's those opportunities, to be fair. Come on. Let's get that go-ahead goal before half time. Richarlison through to Sessignon. Sessignon down the right-hand side. A lot of blue shirts around here. We're going to go to Maya. Maya snaps at it. A second shot. Oh, that's such a weak opportunity. Come on, counter-attack potentially. Maya. Let's start the second half off on the right foot. All right, ball to Metro, but... Yes, that's what I was going to say. He's too strong. Why am I... Oh, I shouldn't have passed it so early. Hold it up. Larson. Oh, it's gone behind him. We have royally... Get to it. Oh, we've royally fucked that one up. Second bite of the cherry. We should have gone ahead there, though. Come on. Richarlison. Green time save from Kepa. We... F ah, bottled that. Come on, lads. Kenny to Maya. Maya through. Richarlison. Surely. Richarlison. Good save, Kepa. Come on, lads. We've had all the momentum in this second half. Sessignon wins it back. Come on, Steven. Drag back. Ball in. Kenny Bossy. Last in. Follow up. Go for the finesse. Oh, my God. Aretha Balaga is having a blinder. They've won that 50 50 as we're on the counter, and now we're kind of on the back foot here. Anaki Williams, I've lunged in too much there. They hit it, thankfully it's straight a Butland, the follow-up. Thank you very much, Pazalic. Come on, lads. Stoppage time. We deserve the win here. Mitro. Richarlison, look at the overlapping run. Larson, one more. Meyer. Oh, Meyer's put it over. And that's going to be full time. You know, coming into this match, if you said we'd have a nil-nil draw with Chelsea, I definitely would have taken it. But... After the 90 minutes that have just unfolded, I feel like we've lost there. We deserved all three points. We just can't finish. Man, oh man, oh man. All right. So we dropped points against Chelsea. We lost to Leicester. That means the curve is going in the right way for us. We're going to get a win here at Old Trafford, surely against Old uh, Manchester United. So taking a look at Ole's Man United side. David De Gea, the man in between the sticks. Chris Smalling back from his Italian adventure. They've brought in Ultiti as well. They've brought in Weigl from Dortmund, Deli Ali, Daniel James, and Beretta. Not sure who Beretta is, but this is an impressive looking United side. And again, you guys know what is coming. This is our side to hopefully take down Manchester United. Gone again with the same back line, keeping the faith with Sessing on for the moment. But I've brought in uh, Andre Frank, Zambo, Gisa, whatever his bloody name is, to replace Fabregas in the midfield. That midfield spot has just been rotating so much. Man United on the attack early here. McTominay trying to keep players at bay. Delhi Alley going there. They put that one across the face. Good save. Follow up. Oh my God. Butlin can't get off the turf quick enough. It was a fantastic save to kick off. But this guy here, Bretta, I have no idea who he is. But he has given Manchester United the lead here. Just couldn't get the follow-up quick enough. I want to see who was meant to be marking him for the follow-up. Did it just kind of come straight? Yeah, it just kind of came out to him. Maya probably should have put in more of a defensive effort, but Butland just caught in no man's land after a great save. United on the attack again here. It's been a pretty dull first half, to be fair. I've just tried to take out Delhi Alley's legs there, but it's the lot putting that one. How are they so open? It wasn't even the guy I thought it was going to be. It was McTominay getting his boot to it, to be fair. And going out wide here. The lot's been terrorizing us down that right hand side. We've, been, we've done a good job of stopping United in this second half. But all it takes for them is one opportunity. And I've just gone through, man. I've got to wake up. That's such a bad. It's going to be a red card, isn't it? That's got to be a red. I've just slid through there with Frank. <sighs> yep, red card, and we deserve it. What have I done? I'm just losing my head too often in this save, man. I mean, I think that's the first red card we've had all series long. But why did I do that? Why in the fucking Lord's name did I press X there? That's a brain snap, Jared. Bloody hell. You're going to have a free kick after the red card. It's going to be Umtiti. Oh my God. United all over us. I've had to make a few changes in the midfield, but they've gone through again here to Asensio. As if they brought on Asensio. They go through. That's a ripper of a finish. Is that McTominay? Yeah, McTominay's put his absolute laces through it. 
We're getting absolutely destroyed here by Manchester United. The golf in class between the big sides and us is just so obvious. That's the way it should be, to be fair. That's the sort of challenge we're looking for this season, but it is huge right now. It's a huge challenge. <sighs> Come on. Charleston has just gone down with an injury. Can we get a goal back in this one? Akgun through. Mitro! That's a weak finish. It's going to be James down the line here. Back post. Half headed away. Let's just clear that one. Kakache is going to put in the weakest clearance I have ever seen in my goddamn life. Martial through to McTominay. Good save. Butland. The follow up. Why are we just leaving them so unmarked in the middle? There's three white shirts. There's three Fulham jerseys. And somehow, Weigl has put that one in the back of the net. Fucking hell. We honestly deserve to be in the position we are right now. 3-0 loss to Manchester United in the thick of the relegation battle. And we deserve it. Why? Because we are a shit football team at the moment. We are terrible. And if things couldn't get made any worse right now, Richarlison, one of the players that has shown a little bit of hope for us this season. He's shown some promise. Fucking Richarlison has torn his ACL. Seven months. Seven months. We're done for. We are fucked. Gonna need things to get good for us ASAP. This is a massive game here at home against a fellow relegation battler in Crystal Palace. I am massively fired up for this game, lads. I've just smashed like 400 Red Bulls, listened to the most motivational music playlist you could imagine. We need a win. This is the formation and the side we're rocking with. Changing up the formation to a 4-1-2-1-2 formation now that we are without Richarlison. So we're going to have Maya playing defensive midfield, Onoma and Fabregas in the center midfield, Tom Kearney attacking midfield, and then Larson and Mitrovic at strikers. And now for Roy Hodgson's Crystal Palace. Big Roy, has got Wayne Hennessy in the, in, the, in the goals. They've got Christensen, bloody hell. They're playing a 4-5-1. McCarthy, Maya, not even going to pronounce yet, their left midfielder, and, and Nezri. So that's an interesting side to be fair. Come on, we need to put in a strong defensive performance. I just caught a glance there of the table. Why? That's caused me to lunge in. Jared, this is not good. They're going to square it, and they're going to hit the bloody post. If we went behind there, I would have cried. Going out to the right-hand side here. You're going to have to play a lot more narrow now that we don't have a wingers and all that stuff. Mitro, over the top to Larson. Larson, he's nuttied him! Larson! What a goal! Jacob Brun Larson is just nutmegged on today's Christensen! His fellow Dane, he has no respect for him. And he's given us the lead here. Jeez, putting him at striker, maybe that's a good option after all. Look at that. Nutmegs the bastard and then smashes it into the back of the net. What a goal. Come on, lads. Second goal will be nice. Got to keep possession here. The game is in our hands. Larson, beautiful ball. Mitro's red timed it, but... He's been brought down by Christensen. Mate, you are having an absolute nightmare. You are having a shocker, mate. Mitro red time the finish. I was about to just lay into him for one of the worst finishes. But now, focus up, Jared. Bottom left corner. Let's make it 2-0. Come on. We're going to hit it. We're going to tuck it in the bottom corner. It's going to plan today. Alexander Mitrovic making it 2-0. Can't give them away back into this game. You gotta get in front of it, Fabregas, for fuck's sake, man. They put that one across the face of the goals. That's shocking defending. And just like that, Palace have an avenue back into this game. Sessignon losing his man at the back post, more focused on the ball than the man. And it's 2-1 now. Bloody hell, wake up. Palace starting this second half on the attack. El El Nezri going through there. I thought Maya just put them all tied up, and I, well, I think I've just pooped my pants. <laughs> Bloody hell. Come on, lads. We need to double that advantage. We need that two-goal cushion again. Look how far open we are at the right-hand side. Sessignon lost a bit of momentum, but he's getting past Meyer. Good ball necessary. Good header. Not so much. <sighs> Win that. Well won from Fabregas. Larson. To me, try see that overlapping run. Jacob, finish it. There it is. Larson doubles our advantage and is surely going to get us three points here against Palace. What a tidy finish from the Dane. Mate, we might have just stumbled upon something here. Larson, what a start at striker. There it is, lads. Three massive points 
at home against a relegation rival. We need more of those performances. And I'll tell you what, Larson, I need more finishes like that, buddy. So that's where I'm going to end today's episode. As you can see, games against Wolves, Bournemouth, and Southampton coming up next episode. Also very close to the January transfer window. So let me know. Who should we go for? It's an extremely tight relegation battle at the moment as well. We are currently one point out of the relegation zone, but we are sitting up in 15th. So we need to go on a good run of form. And with games against Bournemouth and Southampton in the next episode, it is an awesome opportunity to break free of the pack if we can get some good results. But lads, if you enjoyed episode 22 of the Fulham Career Mode, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe down below if you're new around here. I'll see you for the next one soon. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.